Dallas, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, is on the 33rd parallel, or the 33rd degree of latitude. This is significant, as the highest degree in the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry is the 32nd degree. The 33rd degree is only awarded to those who contribute significantly to the furtherance of the plan or the completion of the great work. The great work being the bringing in to the world of the new world order, the one world totalitarian socialist government ruled by illumined man, and the number of that man is six, six, six. This is Dealey Plaza, and the occult symbolism in Dealey Plaza is overwhelming for those who understand it, who have studied it, who can recognize it. The first thing you will notice is that Dealey Plaza is in the shape of a truncated pyramid. The top is cut off by the railroad overpass. In other words, the pyramid has no capstone. You'll also notice that the large pyramid of Dealey Plaza is divided into two smaller pyramids by Main Street running through the center of Dealey Plaza, making three total triangles or pyramids, with the three eyes of the pyramid being the three underpasses underneath the railroad overpass. So you will notice that there are three pyramids and three eyes in the pyramids. Three and three are six for the first six. The second thing that you will notice are that there are four quarters of a Druid or Celtic Temple of the Sun. An exact twin of the Temple of the Sun making up the outer courtyard of the Vatican. One quarter of the temple representing one of the seasons of the year is on the grassy knoll. The second representing another season of the year, is just a little to the right of the center of the screen. Another one is just above Kennedy's head in the portrait in the right lower corner of your screen. The fourth is off the screen and is just below Kennedy's portrait on the knoll directly opposite the grassy knoll, which is so famous in the Kennedy assassination lore. This is significant as it indicates a branch of the mystery school of Mystery Babylon who worshipped the sun or the god that is represented by the sun, which in all cases turns out to be the light or Lucifer, also known as Osiris or Ra. In all actuality, these are just symbols for the intellect. They believed that man was held prisoner in the Garden of Eden by an unjust, vindictive, and very cruel God in the chains, the bonds of ignorance, and that man was set free by Lucifer through his agent Satan with the gift of intellect, and through the use of the intellect, man himself will become God. Now, if you look at the quarter section of the Temple of the Sun, just to the right of the center of the screen, you will see just to the right of it an obelisk. The obelisk is the symbol of the phallus, the missing part of Osiris, the penis, the lost word of Freemasonry. And you will see that it almost points directly in to the parking garage opening where Lee Harvey Oswald was his, himself assassinated. Now, we already have one six symbolized by the three triangles and the three eyes and the three triangles. The second six is symbolized by the sixth floor window where supposedly Lee Harvey Oswald fired the fatal three shots. In reality, he was not even up there, and you will see that later on in this documentary. But now we have two sixes. What is the third six? We have three shots and three wounds. Three and three are six. So now we have the six, 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 which is significant. It is the number of a man. And what is that man? It is the illumined man. It is the man who will rule the world in the new world order. 
It is those who call themselves the guardians of the secrets of the ages, the initiates, the adepts, the priests of the mystery school of the ancient religion of Babylon. Now also significant in this study of Dealey Plaza is the fact that Kennedy was killed on November the 22nd, 1963. November is the 11th month. Add 11 to 22, and again you have 33. The meritorious degree awarded only to those who do something significant toward the furtherance of the plan or the completion of the great work. Now you should understand that John F. Kennedy was murdered on the anniversary date of Pope Clement V's papal bull condemning the Knights Templar to torture by the Dominican monks under the Inquisition. The exact anniversary date, for you see the papal bull was issued on November the 22nd in the year 1307. Now, if you subtract the year 1307 from 1963, the answer you get is 666. And folks, that is no accident. You figure it out. Now, there is much, much more of the occult significance connected with Dealey Plaza here but I'm not going to go into it. I'll leave that for you to explore and discover for yourself. For when you find out that the Knights of Malta, the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, the Ancient Order of the Rose and Cross are all different branches of the Knights Templar, then you will understand that John F. Kennedy was assassinated in an outdoor temple of the sun by the Knights Templar in a combination probably of initiates or adepts or priests of the Babylonian Mystery School from all of the different branches now controlled by the Knights Templar. At the time of day when the sun is most high and in the ancient religion it was said that when the sun was most high, he was doing his father's work in the temple. The temple being Dealey Plaza, his father's work was the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Now, John F. Kennedy suffered three wounds, one in the back, one in the throat, one in the head. The exact same wounds suffered by Hiram Abiff in the Masonic Initiation. Hiram Abiff in the Masonic Initiation has nothing to do with the master builder of the Temple of Solomon in actual history. But Hiram Abiff is the representation of Jacques de Molay, who was burned at the stake by the Pope and Philip V, and he was the Grand Master of the Knights Templar. The three wounds suffered by Hiram Abiff in the Masonic initiation and in reality by Jacques de Molay represent ignorance, superstition, and fear, which are symbolic of the church, the state, and the mob. The mob, of course, is us. What happened in Dealey Plaza? was the carrying out of the revenge of the Knights Templar upon the church, the state, and the mob. John F. Kennedy is the first and only Catholic president in this country, a country established and ruled by the Knights Templar in the personification or in the publicly known branch of Mystery Babylon called Freemasonry. John F. Kennedy was murdered in Dealey Plaza by the mystery religion of Babylon, 
most likely carried out by members of the intelligence community who belong to the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, the Knights of Malta, the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, the Ancient Order of the Rose and Cross, and the Mormon Church. The Mormon Church, ladies and gentlemen, is just another branch of Mystery Babylon, another branch of Freemasonry, and that is historical fact. The intelligence community of the United States of America was set up by a 33rd degree Freemason named Harry Truman, who took his advice from Bill Donovan, who was the head of the OSS, which was made up solely and completely of Knights Templar. William Casey was a Knights Templar. Alan Dulles was a Knights Templar. They were also members of the Knights of Malta, which is just another branch of the Knights Templar. The veil of national security was created so that organizations like the Central Intelligence Agency and the National Security Agency could be erected for the furtherance of the plan of the completion of the great work, the destruction of the sovereignty of all nation states, the destruction of all religions, putting all peoples into the shackles of slavery and bringing about the one world totalitarian socialist state. The socialist and the mystery schools conception of heaven on earth, the utopia that will last for a thousand years, no more wars, no more criminals, but to do that they have to put every single human being on the face of this earth under their control for every second of every 24 hours of their life. The assassination of John F. Kennedy resulted in the destruction of the political will of the people of the United States of America. They lost face in their government, and of course, it was a great blow to the Catholic Church. This is Dealey Plaza, folks. This is the dedication of Dealey Plaza. Dedicated to a famous Texas Freemason named Dealey. And that is his statue on the top of the monument. In the background, you see the old courthouse. John F. Kennedy came down Main Street in the direction that those cars are traveling and turned right on Houston. This is the corner of Main and Houston. Now for much of this little tour of Dealey Plaza, I'm going to keep quiet and just let you watch and look. Directly behind the man walking, you can see a flag over a double garage doorway. That is the entrance to the underground parking facility where Lee Harvey Oswald was assassinated by Jack Ruby. It is on Houston Street, facing directly into Dealey Plaza. There you can see the obelisk, the representation of the phallus or the penis of Osiris, or Ra. And on top there is the flame representing the light, or Lucifer, or the intellect. If you count the stones sitting on the base, making up this obelisk, you will notice that there are exactly 14, the exact number of pieces that Osiris was cut into and scattered around the kingdom, which Isis attempted to find and could not find the one part, the phallus or the penis, the generative force, the lost word 
of Freemasonry. You're looking directly at the sixth floor window. What you see in the window, partly open, is just a box. Now to the left of the obelisk, you can see a portion of one of the four quarters of the Temple of the Sun. There's the flame representing the light Lucifer, the sun, the intellect. It is both ironic and extremely cruel that the mystery schools have placed their symbol of victory on the grave of John F. Kennedy, the eternal flame This is the plaque on the bottom of the obelisk, and you'll see that it's dedicated to the first fraternal lodge, amongst other things. We checked with the historical society. It was a Masonic lodge of the Scottish Rite. As you learned earlier, Dealey Plaza is an outdoor temple. You can see behind the obelisk, one of the quarters of the Temple of the Sun, the Druid or Celtic Temple, also a symbol of the ancient mystery religion of Babylon. There you can see the play of light representing the battle between the forces of light and darkness. And for all you Looney Tunes out there, those are not UFOs. That's what you call lens flare. The lens of the camera is almost looking into the sun. We must have the flame taken off of Kennedy's grave for it is disgrace. It is the symbol of those who assassinated our president. It is the symbol of the sun, the light, Lucifer, the intellect. Now there's nothing wrong with the intellect or knowledge, folks. But when it's used as a symbol by these liars and deceivers and manipulators, then it takes on an entirely new meaning. They believe that we are all nothing but cattle, so stupid that we can never put this together. We can never decipher the symbology. That we are just beasts of burden and stakes on the table by choice and consent. Well, I serve notice with this film that some of us are not cattle. That's the double garage going into the parking facility where Lee Arby Oswald was himself assassinated. A patsy, a dupe. Now remember, if you get bored or dissatisfied or you don't think this is a Hollywood production, it's because it's not. This film was made in Dealey Plaza for researchers. It was not made to entertain anyone. If you're bored, fast forward the film or just turn it off. We're looking across Houston and across Maine to the old courthouse.
And on top of the courthouse, we see the symbol of the ancient order of the dragon, also known as the order of the snake, the order, the Illuminati. I have always been amazed whenever I visit Dealey Plaza and I see people walking around not realizing where they're at or the significance of any of the symbolism which surrounds them, almost overwhelms. Here you see the symbol of Osiris, our Ra, reflected in the pool. You will see the same thing in Washington, D.C. The obelisk is the representation of the sun, the light, Lucifer, the intellect. The reflecting pool is the symbol of the moon, or the mystery religion, the school. Osiris is the doctrine, Isis is the church. And you will see that the moon or the church reflects the pure light of its master, the sun or the doctrine. Isn't it amazing how different the world looks when you understand the esoteric meaning of the symbols of those who call themselves the guardians of the secrets of the ages. The power behind all the thrones of the world who have been manipulating man throughout his history. The liars, the deceivers, the manipulators. Those who claim to be the representation of the real truth. Those who claim to possess the only mature minds and thus are the only ones capable of leading the rest of us, the cattle. The ones who claim that what they do is in the best interest of all mankind, humanity. The ones who have the philosophy that the means, whatever they may be, are okay if the end is good. In other words, the ends justify the means. If they believe that the end result is in their best interest and they have to kill or murder two billion